Hello everyone. How you guys doing today? We're here in uh, Texas uh, in this nice hot weather. It's like around 10 o'clock and it already feels like 100 degrees out here. Um, I want to make this quick video because uh, I bought this truck at the auction about six months ago. And I've been driving it, it drives pretty good, but it just keep on leaking and cooling. And I was looking online and it seems like everybody has the same problem after you do the EGR delete. Uh, so I've been driving just here in town. So every day I have to put a little bit of coolant and uh, I don't want to chance it and go out of town and get stranded somewhere. But let me show you, uh, I've seen different videos and uh, I've been looking online and see if they got any updates for this pipe. Uh, let me show you, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a 2009, 2009 Dodge Ram 3500 with the 67 Dodge Cummins. Actually, it's Cummins, not Dodge. Uh, and it's got this uh, pipe right here. Uh, this pipe used to, this coolant pipe used to go to the EGR. The EGR was used to be right here. There was a bracket right here, and it got deleted. So somebody put a sinister um, hose and a quick connect. But the funny part, I already taken the truck apart, so that's why it's loose. The funny thing is that my truck was sitting like this. And there's actually not a bracket or anything that holds this pipe or this pipe. So it was always leaking from here or here. But I'm amazed how this thing hasn't popped out yet because there's nothing holding it together. Over here either, there's no bracket, nothing holding it together. You could wiggle the, the, the tube and the coolant will start coming out. So has anybody found a real solution for it? I really don't want to take a chance to drive it far and this pipe just popped out and all the coolant come out so I've been doing some research online I've been trying to see if somebody has like a better pipe like this uh, and I can't find anything so what I did I took this pipe off cut the bottom off already and this piece this piece was right here like this so I cut it off and I went and got me uh, this is a pipe from a 2007 Dutch Ram with the 67 as well uh, but it seems like 2007 2008 they have a different setup which it looks uh, better than the 09 and up setup. So what I did, I cut this pipe out. I'm gonna bolt this uh, to the uh, radiator outlet. And then I'm gonna put this in here, hold it down with the clamp. Like this, just like this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this whole thing in the truck. And this is gonna be a little more secure because it's got this tab right here and it bolts on onto the um, um, oil cooler housing. So that's gonna be secure right there with this bolt. Uh, and right here, that's got a bolt that holds down the pipe. And over here, uh, this is a quick connect as well. And this one has a hose with the clamp. I was gonna go as far as to uh, like removing 
this pipe right here. I was gonna remove this pipe right here and use the old one from the 07. That way I don't have to do any modifications here. But I started taking it apart and then I realized that this pipe won't come out unless I take off the manifold. So at this point, I'm just gonna put a, a hose clamp in here. I'm gonna put the uh, hose the water hose in here and put a hose clamp and maybe even put another hose clamp right here because uh, to take the manifold it's gonna take a lot of hours and I have to keep going right now I have to keep going I can't not spend uh, that many hours taking the manifold putting it back together uh, so this is gonna be like a quick fix and I'm pretty sure it's gonna hold better than this old setup right here. Uh, it's just sitting there with no clamps or uh, no uh, bracket to secure it. I don't know how these people were driving this car, <laughs> to be honest with you. Because this popped out really easy. Um, like I said, um, I haven't heard anybody finding a real good solution. So this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is on 09 and the pipe came out of a uh, 07. So I'm gonna try to set it up. Um, and uh, later down the road, uh, whenever I have time, I'm gonna take the uh, manifold off, the exhaust manifold off and probably change that pipe that way it's got a little bit of more uh, a little more uh, secure uh, tied down on this end you know because right now it's got the old ring I don't think it's gonna pop out because this pipe is gonna be secure right here onto the uh, block and this pipe gonna be secure right here it's got a couple of bolts it's got one right here right there and the other one goes in the back onto the manifold so this is not gonna move anywhere it can't move because it's gonna be bolted down and this one can't move either because it's gonna be bolted down right there I'm gonna take that bolt off and uh, that's why I'm gonna tie down the other pipe um, if you guys find a solution or like um or you guys found like an updated pipe is anybody making an updated pipe and take care of this problem because this problem is i think it's been going on for a while and nobody seems to have a real solution of it uh, but i'm gonna try it out and i'll make another video uh, later down the road and let you know how everything went and hopefully uh, my coolant leak stop. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you guys got any questions, uh, put it below the comments. Uh, and if you got, if you find a solution that works for this truck, uh, let me know too. And if you like the video, please uh, click like. And uh, I'll make a second video and let you know how everything went. Thank you for watching.